Slowmatics tuning, what is it and how is it possible that a band with no bass player sounds so crushingly heavy? Well, today I'm gonna to tell you all about it and I'm also gonna show you how to play all of the amazing riffs from their crushing tune, Troglorite. So if you're not familiar with them, Slowmatics is from Belfast in Northern Ireland. The band consists of Chris and Dave on guitar. As you heard, no bass player, but they've got a really cool way of getting around that using a really unique tuning. I heard them describe it one time as Neil Young meets Neurosis, but basically you're gonna take your whole guitar, put it in C-sharp standard tuning. So that's C-sharp, F-sharp, B, E, G-sharp, C-sharp. Then you're gonna take the sixth string here and tune it all the way down to F-sharp. Once the sixth string is in F-sharp, the bottom fifth and sixth string form an octave pairing of F-sharp notes. Then you're gonna take this first string and tune it down to B so it matches the pitch of this fourth string. The octave sounds like this. So as you can see, super heavy, and it kind of starts to add in the quality of a bass guitar. In terms of string gauges to make this tuning work, you've got a 13, a 17, a 26 wound, a 35, a 45, and a 75. Now, Chris and Dave both use flat wound strings in Slowmatics. If you're not familiar with flat wounds, they are a very smooth finish as opposed to round wounds. They tend to shave off a bunch of high end, a little bit of output, a ton of string noise, just making your guitar have more of a mellow quality, which I guess would be something that would be good if you don't have a bass player. This guitar does have those gauges, but they are round wound strings. A couple other unique things about their setup is Chris tends to play exclusively on the neck pickup. I believe his cabs always have 10 inch speakers, whereas David tends to play more on the bridge pickup and his cabs are loaded with 12 inch speakers. Now, one of the pedals that's been on all of their recordings going all the way back to 2014 is of course our brand new Elder God. This was designed for Chris Cousins by Nick Williams. It's a parallel combination of a fuzz face and a low pass filtered big muff circuit. Essentially what they wanted to do was come up with a way that they could blend different fuzzes while tapering off the high end, something they like to do in studio and wanted to be able to take into their live performances as well. And then one thing particular to Troglorite in that second or I guess third riff, if you count the intro, I often see Dave kick on the Phase 90 Live. I think that's how he's got it set, so I use that for this lesson. The guys in Slowmatics have, of course, famously used different Mattiamp amplifiers over the years, so for today's video, I'm gonna be using my green Mattiamp GT120 MV. If you wanna find out more about any of that gear, I'll have links in the description, and as always, if you wanna download the tab for this lesson and every other lesson on the channel, you can check them out at patreon.com slash does it do. All right, guys, so once again, we're in Slowmatics tuning here. This octave pairing on the fifth and sixth strings, both F sharp. Now, obviously, if you don't have a guitar in Slowmatics tuning, which you most likely will not, you can obviously just play these riffs in any drop tuning. If you got something in drop B or drop A, just play the riffs in the same location using that single finger bar chord, and it's going to sound great. 
This first riff here is rooted at the fifth fret. If uh, this was a standard tuned guitar, this would be the key of A, I guess. But because we are in slowmatics tuning, it is F sharp G, G sharp A, A sharp B. And this one uses the B Phrygian mode. The intro here just goes like this. One thing to keep in mind here is the intonation isn't perfect, and I believe the guys have said that it's actually kind of part of the vibe. You've got a loose intonation, the notes are not exactly in tune, but it kind of adds to the overall sort of width of the sound. <laughs> So after that first riff, the tempo picks up a bit. I think I started in 115 beats per minute. Now we're up to 150 beats per minute. So in terms of intervals here, you've got the root, the minor second, the flat seventh, the minor third, and the perfect fourth. So again, all just Phrygian mode. Another interesting thing is that I often see when watching live footage, David will add this fifth interval to the chord. So you often see kind of Chris just playing these the octave pairings here, where David will add this fifth. <laughs> Kind of add some brightness to the tone. Now we're going to modulate keys up to the eighth fret here. This would be the key of B, but because we are in slowmatics tuning here and this is an F sharp, we've got G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D. This one uses the harmonic minor scale, and this is also the riff where David kicks on the phase 90. So you've got again the root, the major seventh, and the minor third. So all harmonic minor. Now the final riff here, you finally get to hear that crushing open string octave pairing. So we're in the key of F sharp minor, and this one goes like this. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new lessons and videos. I want to send out a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon with a very special thank you to all of our Riff Lord and Riff Messiah tier producers. For another lesson just like this, click the YouTube video directly below me. And until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your friend.